What's up, everybody? Cedric and CJ here. It's your wrestling commentary, and we'll be answering viewers where we read the comments and we comment on the comments. Sometimes you got questions, sometimes you just comments, and we just we comment. just read it. Yeah, <laughs> comment on the comments. Uh, maybe you'll learn something. Maybe we'll learn something, or maybe we'll all just be entertained. I mean, you know, it's possible. Yeah. So. Uh, this one is on the day eight one, and it says, I'm so far behind. Between internet, acting like a prick, work, and life, it's been rough keeping up with wrestling. And you know what? Yeah. 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 Because we having an issue, too. We got a uh, death before dishonor. Just, yeah. It's hard to gear up to watch that. Mm -hmm. It really is. Because um, it's not Ring of Honor. It's more like the Tony Khan Toy Show. Tony Khan Vanity Project. Tony Khan's Playhouse. Tony Khan's Neglected Room. Um, this is, I've always liked Yo, uh, Yuya, and I'm glad to hear he's getting better in the ring. Yeah, he's, wow, he's good. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see, Cobb got tired very quickly in his G1 debut. Yes, we remember that. Oh, he's going to be second win for real. You either wonder if he's going to make it through the match. Yes, I think at about the six-minute mark, it's, I'm like, wow, dude, you might need some air. I mean, you got air, but no, you need to hook that mask up to you. He says, but now he's gotten used to the G1 and become a dominant force. He says, I hate Bullet Club, Ren. I am sick of Ren acting like pre-2019 Tai Chi. House of Torture is just full of Tai Chi clones. Even the old Tai Chi was more tolerable than House of Torture. Have they, got, have they not heard of wrestling? I think that when I watch the indie people. But here's, here's the thing. Look past that they cheat and look at how they cheat. Tai Chi had a hackneyed, boring way of cheating. And the reason his cheating was bad because he didn't do any moves. Maybe, I, I think I said this a few reviews ago. We, we're just seeing this with Narita. Yeah, if he's this been, is new to us. If he's been doing this for a while. I can understand how he feel, and uh, I don't know if you look very closely. Ren Narita has acquired the Tai Chi douche face. Yeah, he has got the Tai Chi douche face. When you look at Ren Narita and his picture comes up, it's like, dang man, it's not I'm, that far. Okay, I'm look, I'm, I'm gonna tell everybody. I'm gonna tell everybody seriously. I have literally not been looking at. Ren Narita's face to avoid hating him. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you, because at first I was like, "What's wrong with your damn face, douche face?" And then you mentioned it later, and I was like, "Oh no!" So yeah, I literally is. I just like shoulder down. I'm like, okay, we'll, we'll work with that. That I have been doing that for a while. Okay. So. Um, he said, "I can't believe Finley defeated Kanosuke." No way David should have beaten him. I, we agree. Yep. We agree. Bullshit. To be fair, Gabe is trying to get his boss over, but honest, with some refinement, Gabe would be better a better heel than David. He, He's he already has potential. a better heel than David. Yeah, he is. He already is a better heel. It's hackneyed. I, Gabe, I, I think Gabe would make a really fantastic heel, uh, a really ravenous type heel. If he you don't see those heels too often. Only stop talking. When he is calm and screaming less, Gabe Kidd is intimidating. I mean, really intimidating. Yeah, now he he he's intimidating to you in one way. He's intimidating to us in another way, because someone that looked like him. Staring at someone that looked like us, yeah, in the way that this country operates, it's, yeah, that's scary. That's scary. Um, right now, heel Tai Chi is better than Gabe and David combined. I haven't seen Tai Chi, I, just, I don't even know what he looked like anymore. Mm -hmm. Maybe he's got different hair. Somebody pray to whoever there is to pray to. If there is anybody to pray to, the Tai Chi's got different hair. <laughs> I like this hair, honestly. He looked like a failed Dracula. 
He says, even evil is better, and I can't stand him or Dick. dick. You know what? I'm not a fan of Dick either. <laughs> I like Dick, but not that one. <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah, I'm just about how I go, right? <laughs> he says, why are you mocking Gabe's accent, Cedra? That is so uncalled for. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. He called you out. If he would only stop talking, the world would be a better place to shut up and wrestle. Okay. Okay, <laughs> how the world... How you gonna be a heel if you ain't talking? There's plenty of ways to be a heel and not talk. If Evil never spoke and did what he did in the ring, would you think he was a face? No. Yes. You were... <laughs> You're lying through your face. <laughs> I can't lie through anything else. There's plenty of ways. There's plenty of ways to be a heel without screaming "fuck you" every ten minutes. He doesn't even do that. You're thinking Toby Makabe. No, I'm thinking about Togi. I'm thinking about the ravenous pale dude with the light eyes. He said that like what twice in his last match, and I think maybe once in this one. He has said at least two to three times every time we've seen him on the screen, because there apparently there isn't any other way to let someone know you don't like them other than saying "fuck you." It's the only phrase there is. Nothing else is in the dictionary. The Japanese fans just that. understand that though. Or they could understand a potato or a kick in the balls or... They're not going to know a potato when they see one. Powder in the eyes. We, we, we wouldn't even notice a potato powder when we see Powder in the one. eyes and dragging the eyes across the, the rope. There's a plenty of ways to be a heel. Yes, there is. Without using your dick liquor. Yeah, I used it. So, he says, I wish Jay White would return to New Japan Pro Wrestling and hit Finley with the Blade Runner. I don't know what that would do. <laughs> okay, he come in, boom! I, right. you just got Blade running. It I'm out. Good. It feel good though. It be like, mm. uh, like hit him really hard in the face. Okay, yeah, it would feel good. Yeah, yes. It, it, I, I have to agree with both of y'all on that. One. Uh, this is Michael Elgin. You were talking about Michael Elgin. Thank you, because I was struggling. He retired because he was accused of sexual harassment. Okay. All right, that's where my issue come in. I'm like, he retired because he was accused? Hell, even if he did it, he shouldn't retire. Does that mean I disrespect women? Uh, no, then like I just grab, see you by her hair, throw in the kitchen, and be like, you know what to do in there. <laughs> nah, you wouldn't what? be able to sleep after that. <laughs> <laughs> look, look. He gonna retire. I would to retire from pro wrestling. If this is the, if this is true, him retiring from pro wrestling for that. Do you know how many racists should be gone? How many people that are unsafe to work with should be gone? How many people who have harassed, bullied, and violently ribbed others that should be gone? They should be gone. S s plain and simple. It should be gone. He sexually harassment, man. If that harassment got nothing to do with pro wrestling, that makes it even worse. And if he didn't, if, and as long as he didn't use whatever position of power he might have had, which is probably very little to none, to hamper someone else's career, other than saying, you know, give me some or yada yada yada, you know, the old Vince McMahon way. Yeah. <laughs> Vince McMahon has made a career of undermining, underutilizing, bastardizing, watering down, and outright disrespecting and humiliating people on a weekly basis. But it took sexual assault and battery. It took imprisonment and entrapment and enslavement and defecating on somebody to get rid of him. That's, That's what it took to get rid of him. That's a lot. That's and they didn't even get rid of him. He left before they could. And took a lot with him. To the Nixon way out. Yes. So, I'm like, man. Here's the thing. 
fair is fair. And that's all I'm going on. You know, that, that's all I'll go for. It, fair is fair. It's that simple. You know, it ain't about, oh, he's a wrestler and he or she or whoever was the one that may have been sexually harassed is nothing. No, it ain't that. It's compare and contrast is the enemy of bullshit. If I was the one you sexually harassed, I wouldn't want to quit wrestling. I need you to quit, keep wrestling. She could pay me the money that I'm gonna sue you for. There you go. <laughs> keep wrestling, dude. <laughs> you got to pay me. Yes, it's like you watch movies and whatnot where the person owes somebody money, and then to make an example, the one that's owed money go and kill the one that owes them. It's like, well, now, now you don't get your money, period, and you might go to prison. Yeah, it's stupid. Just it's it's stupid. So then he says, I can get too passionate about certain wrestlers I like and come off as rude. I am trying. He says, I'm trying to be rude and I'm sorry. I'm sure you've been, I'm, I'm not trying to be rude and I'm sorry that I came across like that in the past. Okay. Thanks, dude. Yes. That, see, that right there, accountable, honest, forthcoming. And that makes me be like, all kinds of water under the bridge. Does somebody take shots at me unprovoked? And I'm like, you know, I'm, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. And then now I, and I'm like, okay, now I got to snap. It's like, how, how, you know, you're going to push me into a corner. You're going to insult me or what? And I ain't saying what you did, 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 you did. This is just in general. This has been my whole life. All right. You know, you back me into a corner and then I lash out and then I'm the bad guy. That, that's been my life. So it's, yes. So that's why the whole thing with Michael Elgin also ticks me off because I'm like, Flair didn't retire after the whole airplane nightmare thing. You know, uh, Triple H and others that was obviously on roids, you know, they, they didn't get thrown out of wrestling. You know, they've done some messed up things. Hell, even though it, it might have, it was a work, allegedly. But Triple H drugs Stephanie McMahon. She's unconscious. He drives to Vegas. They get their thing done. You know, you know, it's a work, but it looks bad. There's so many things that would not fly on TV now. Oh. Stephanie McMahon in a promo, whether it was a shoot or a work came out and told the world that her father has made her for the good of the company do things with other men in his company and I don't mean company as in the business I mean company as in around him people that he associate with that was I'm like whoa dude yeah uh-huh so just compare and contrast you know, if you don't, if you tell somebody, look, you don't want this done to you, then don't do it to somebody else. It's, it's so easy, but people cannot follow that very simple guideline. Very, very simple. If you stay in the house and mind your business, there won't be no problem. <laughs> yep. <laughs> stay in the house and mind your business. Yep. It was like men at work. It's like, what's going on here? Mind your business. Okay. You've seen too much. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and that, that. Watch that movie. It's goofy as hell. Men at so work. Good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and quick change. Quick change. Quick change and men at work. Old school movies. Hilarious. If you want to laugh, there you go. Yep. And so, with that, we'll bid you a farewell. This has been Cedric Cedric for CRS and Commentary, answering viewers. And with that, we want y'all to be cool, be chill, be safe. And make sure you like, share, subscribe. Click that bell so that we can see you next time.